talk about the comparison between BGS and PSA specifically. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a slab comparison. A lot of people have been grading cards lately, you know, send them to PSA, do I send it to BGS? How do I know what kind of grade this card's gonna get? I'm gonna go into a little bit about that and talk about the comparison between BGS and PSA specifically and show off a couple other grading options. If this is your guys' first time here and enjoy this kind of content, consider pressing the subscription button. It really helps me out. And let's get into this slab comparison. So I'm gonna start out with a BGS 9.5. BGS 9.5 is not a 10 so a lot of people like to see tens on these but bgs is a little bit harder to grade especially if you go for the grading with categories which gives you centering edges corners and surface so you can see in each of these areas if one of these gets a 9.5 it'll get a 10. if all of them are tens it'll get a black label 10. but if two get a 9.5 uh, you'll see a 9.5 if they're all 9.5s they'll get a 9.5 but if you get a nine or multiple nines it'll usually go down to a nine um, from my understanding, a BGS 9.5 is somewhat similar to a PSA 10. PSA 10s are usually preferred. It is a 10, so getting a 10 on something is better than having a 9.5, but BGS slabs, I think the slab is actually a little nicer. It's really clear. They're nice, thick slabs, but there's a lot of controversy around BGS and their grading, especially around centering, specifically for Dragon Ball Super cards. It doesn't seem like they have a very clear metric and they haven't been straightforward about how they grade centering, but oftentimes, people look at the back and look at the centering uh, relative to where these lines are to the edges. And you can also use markers like the corners of the cards to see how the card is centered. Personally, I think this card is centered at a 10, but they said that it's a 9.5 and the surface got a 9.5. A lot of these uh, secret rares have some little bit of scuff marks or something on here. It looks like there were some that are on here that weren't there when I sent it in, but that's just what happens. Here's a BGS 9.5 and here's a PSA 10. I think they're somewhat comparable, but I think people generally prefer PSA 10s and a PSA 10 will probably sell for more than a BGS 9.5. However, a BGS 10 will sell for more than a PSA 10. Even though this isn't a black label 10, it has 195 on centering again, which I think is kind of bogus, but this will yield a higher market value. And again, the BGS slabs are just really nice. They're nice, thick, um, very clear and uh, really, really nice slabs. Now the level above this is a black label 10. A black label 10 is perfect tens in all categories. You get this black label on it. It looks really, really cool. A lot of cards just look great with black labels on them. And this is kind of the most sought after grade. Um, there's again, a lot of controversy around BGS black labels, but this is kind of the best grade you can get on a card and these will fetch the highest price because they are very few and far between. So if you are considering between a BGS black label and a PSA 10, the BGS black label is gonna have a higher secondary market value and it's just gonna retain more value over time. Given there isn't something that comes out about BGS saying it's total crap or something like that, but I think forever people will kind of really value BGS 10. Next, I have a different grading company here. Um, this is Mint. It's a Canadian company. I think this company is really cool. The slabs look a lot like BGS slabs, and I like the labels a lot. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of shattered glass, but they are pretty labels. Um, I don't know if their full tens look different than this, but this was just a card I wanted to pick up. It was like 90 bucks, and I thought it looked really good in this slab. Um, I think they charge around 20 to 25 dollars per card to grade them. Um, but I believe I don't know what the secondary market value is on these or how. How these compare to PSA and BGS. I think PSA and BGS are kind of the most reputable companies. Um, also, CGC is a really reputable company. I think CGC secondary market values are pretty high from what I've heard. Um, if you wanted to learn more about that, you can check out Null Collector on Instagram. He's very knowledgeable about CGC grading. Uh, definitely check out his page and um, you can learn more about that. And last but not least, of course, there is the uh, Joku DMD Kaizoku grading, which is definitely gonna be the most reputable grading source on the market ever. Uh, you have um, shiny, smooth composition, aesthetic, crisp, and place. This is actually just kind of a joke. I, I made up this thing. I'm, I'm making some of my own slabs now because I'm kind of sick of paying a lot of money for these slabs and most of them just stay in my collection anyway. So I just want to have cards and slabs. I even put these in my own sleeve, but I'm going to be exploring this more and just kind of having fun with grading some of my own cards. I don't know what these will be worth or if they'll be worth anything, but it's just kind of a fun project I've been doing. Um, so people have been very supportive of it. So I like putting a shiny label on stuff and having it in a nice slab. So I think I will continue to explore this and do more. I think 
think this got a little messed up here, but I'm still exploring how to make this. I'll, I'll do a video on how to actually make these if you guys want to make some slabs of your own. Anyway, that's been the slab comparison. I think the safest bet, especially for DBS cards, is PSA. They generally fetch pretty high grades and it's relatively easy process to send them in. The only thing is the turnaround time is pretty high now. So you kind of have, they only have the express uh, options available before you could pay $10 a card. Now it was $20 a card, but I don't think they have an economy service that's available at this time. Um, I'm still waiting on a return that I sent in last February. So we'll see when that comes back. But PSA is kind of the safest bet. But if you think you have a great grade on a card, it's worth sending it to BGS for the chance at a black label. You may just get a gold label on it, but the gold label is still pretty sought after. Anyway, that's been the slab comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Um, I would recommend if you're going to send a card in and you're not totally sure, probably send it to PSA. It's probably a safer bet than sending it to BGS. And I hear great things about CGC. So uh, consider CGC as an option as well. I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip would be your teeth are actually crystals. I know these are gem mints, these high great these cards with very high grades, but your teeth are actually gems. Also, the enamel of your tooth is something called high hydroxy appetite with a, a crystalline structure. So the same way that you take care of these beautiful slabs, you want to take care of your teeth brushing and flossing every day. I'm Joku DMD and I'll see you guys next time. Please, please don't forget subscription to my show. How about a dental tip? Uh, don't chew things that are harder than your teeth. Newton's third law is that everything that uh, exerts a force has an equal and opposite force exerted back on it. So if you chew things that are harder than your teeth, you can break your teeth and then it becomes really expensive to do that and then you can't buy shiny cardboard. So bring your batterings and say your prayers. Joku DMD in the air.